So first of all, tell me, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, my back feels amazing. Um, okay. I'm almost on to like no back pain at all. Like um, other than like if I'm sitting in the wrong position or sometimes mm -hmm. getting up is a little bit of a struggle, but backwise I'm doing good. It feels like I have a brand new spine, which is good. Uh, your heart surgery was not a regular surgery and it was, when was the surgery again? Uh, May, 20 May 28th. So about <laughs> less than six weeks ago, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How long did you stay in the hospital? Uh, it was two and a half days, like one Friday, Saturday, and left by like two nights. one o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, two yeah. nights. And you yeah. flew back home, what, uh, four days later after the surgery, correct? Uh, yeah. Roughly, it was four yeah. days later, yeah. yes. Yeah. Now, um, and you're coming from Ohio to Minneapolis to Minnesota. I will share this with my team yes. because your surgery made history. And the reason for that is, we did a four level fusion and I'm going to go around here. We did a four level fusion for degenerative disc disease, scoliosis, spondylolisthesis. And uh, we did all that surgery in one hour and 55 minutes. Um, Do I need to look? Yeah, okay. and that was a surgery that you have been told by multiple surgeon would be an impossible or deadly surgery. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. Surgeon, did they tell you they cannot do that for you? Uh, three three different surgeons told me that they would not even consider doing it. Yeah. Well, we went. Yeah, and because they were right. Because your surgery over an old-fashioned way would have not been a two-hour surgery. and uh, But we could do it in two, so in two hours because we didn't go through all the tissue that they had to go through and open up big old surgery. Um, nevertheless, one of the hospital, even in here in Minnesota, Refuse to put you sleep. The anesthesiologist says you are too big to be put sleep. How much do you, did you weigh at the time of the surgery? I weighed roughly, I think, around five or six was my approximate weight. Yeah, five, five over five hundred pounds, and your BMI was sixty-two point five. Yes. Now, yes. Surgery was six weeks ago. Tell me, how are you doing? I my my back feels amazing. Um, I've had traditional back surgery before where they've cut open and had a large incision. Even from the first day of waking up after when, I, when the hospital was like, sit up, get up. I had the first back surgery I had, I didn't move out of bed even when they wanted me to walk. Um, when I, the day after I had surgery with you, I was up walking, moving around. I didn't have that fear of, that my spine was gonna fall out. Like it felt, it felt good compared to to the traditional method and i i recommend this to anyone and everyone yeah, yeah. And that, now our blood loss for your surgery just was one and a half ounce minimal. which is a one fifth of a cup of a coffee which is nothing <laughs> this is all what we lost to do your surgery and uh, uh, obviously still every surgery has its own risk but uh, doing this your surgery with your weight and bmi in that short period of time, with that little blood loss, with that fast recovery, I think uh, there is a news release about your surgery. And yeah, I'm no, thanking you for allowing me to go with this news out there because believe it or not, you're not the only person having this problem in your situation. And those people now have a choice. So thank you for letting me share your information. Okay. I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, thank it you. Was It's very hard seeing your son and seeing my son in, in his condition. Mm -hmm. And to hear doctors say that we can't help you. I mean, when we, he went to Riverside, he went to OSU, there was a team of doctors, actually seven surgeons mm -hmm. that had a meeting. Five said yes, two said no. And unless the vote was unanimous, it was a no. So that was hard, that was very hard. So then when David found you, on the internet and, and I mean, he did his homework and I'm like, he's like, mom, let's do it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> get, the, get the paperwork in order, you know, so I could be off work and get his paperwork in order. And, and, um, but it was encouraging when he found you and he called me. Well, I'm happy you found me. We are <laughs> really still not completely done, but we are on the right path. And I'm hoping that, you know, from now on, you have more tears of joy than tears oh, of yeah. sadness, okay? 